Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Ironman. For a while, I've just been doing gauntlet occasionally here and there, maybe like a few before bed, and I got up to like 30 or 40 KC. And then last video, I decided that I just want to go all out and grind out gauntlet. So I went from 30-ish something KC all the way up to 200 KC, as you can see in the chat box right here. The main motivator for me wanting to actually grind out gauntlet was because I recently got into doing solo raids and everything was going pretty smooth except for head phase at Ulm. Just using the RCB is so rough there. So that's why I went to gauntlet. Also, it would just be nice to have Bofa for other things like Sarah, maybe try it out at other God Wars bosses. And this is what the collection log looks like now at Gauntlet with uh, the 200 KC. We got three armor seeds last video. We got the pet, but the main thing we're after, of course, is the enhanced crystal weapon seed, which is one out of 400 from Corrupt Gauntlet. So I am halfway to the drop rate. And then on top of that, we got a bunch of crystal shards last video too. So if I ever do get the enhanced weapon seed, I will be able to corrupt it because you need 2,000 shards and I'll give it unlimited charges. So at least we're set in the shards department. For now though, I'm just gonna keep on doing more gauntlet, I guess, because I don't mind it and we're getting good skilling supplies, making some decent GP, and let's hope we can see a unique today. And I really want to get back to doing solo raids though, but it's just so bad with the rune crossbow for Ulm. Now before we continue on, first we have a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, which is smaller, lighter, and thinner compared to traditional wallets. Even with how small the wallet is, it can hold up to 12 cards, it has RFID blocking technology, and you can choose between a strap or a clip for cash. Your cash is very secure on the Ridge. I've been using it since 2020 and I've had no issues and no concerns about losing cash. To get your cards out of the wallet, like the name implies, all you have to do is push your finger into the Ridge. Every Ridge wallet comes with a 45 day money back guarantee so you can try it out and see if it's for you. On top of that, the Ridge team is so confident with their product that they offer a lifetime warranty. So if you get a Ridge wallet, it is the only wallet you will ever have to buy. They have free shipping and if you don't like it, they have free returns too. So go to ridge.com slash mudkip to check out their wallets. They have a wide variety of materials and designs and I'm sure there's something for everyone. Ridge has other products too besides just wallets. They have hats, cables, power banks, backpacks, etc. And again, that's ridge.com slash mudkip. And if you use my code mudkip at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order and thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Wow, we got level 90 woodcutting, which means it is time for redwoods. Well, I'm not actually, I'm probably gonna go barb fishing. Um, but the reason why I was woodcutting like over the course of the last video is because I want to get 99 eventually because we want to max eventually. And I figure this could be like a good excuse to get some passive crystal shards because we would need 2k for the Bofa if I ever got it. But I already have over 2k now, so I'm not really in a rush to get shards anymore. So I probably won't ever be doing any more teak trees now that I have Redwoods unlocked. Also, it wasn't really the best shards per hour anyways. I mean, I was here for an hour and a half, and I don't know if you noticed, I only had four shards after an hour and a half is really bad. It was like 10 per hour on average though. Oh, a virtual hit points level. Very cool. Oh, Crystal Armor Seed number four. Nice, nice. I'm glad we saw something at a 238 KC. You know what? I came up with a grand goal for this video. We are just going to keep on doing Gauntlet, which will probably be evident in the title and thumbnail. Uh, and we're either going to go for 400 KC or Enhanced, whichever comes first. Oh, got a PB. That's the first PB in a while. Oh, a regular Crystal Weapon Seed. I just opened up the group storage because I'm doing this Elite and... Uh, I think from getting 99 magic last video, I'm guessing is probably what unlocked those two slots. Okay, before I go to bed, just wanna show you what I achieved today. It's like a progress report, I guess. I got about 200K fishing XP in my AFK time, and I did 41 gauntlets by died, I think at least at least once today, so probably about 40 CG KCs what I got today. First gauntlet of the day, crystal weapon seed. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so good. Crystal Armor Seed number five. So now, because it's number five, I'll be able to make the top and the bottoms. That's like the most important thing. The helm isn't like as big of a deal, but top and bottoms is so nice, dude. Now all we need is enhanced. If I had gotten enhanced first, I would have had to stay here longer to get another Crystal Armor Seed because top and bottoms is really important, but I'm so happy about that. Oh, hello there from the pond. Uh, we got 89 fishing. Wrapping up another day of gauntlet today. Uh, my AFK fishing XP was a bit over 200K and I completed, I died once, so 30 corrupt gauntlet today. Pretty weak day, I know. And that is 300KC at the corrupt gauntlet. And like 
just this video so far, I've been at the Corrupt Gauntlet for like 20 or 25 hours of in-game time, yet the video is like barely just getting started. We're only like a few minutes into the video. There's not much content to show, I guess. But if we're going for 400 KC, then I guess that means we're halfway through the video or something like that. Whoa, I just got a PB. 817. Wow, Crystal Armor Seed, amazing, number six. So now uh, we'll have the helm as well, which that'll be nice for any off Slayer task stuff like God Wars, for example. It's just about to go to bed though. So that is like perfect timing too. Oh, should I go for the back to back? Okay, we'll go for one more tonight. Okay, last gauntlet for the night and there we go. So I was doing some AFK fishing in my downtime. We got 186k XP and here is the gauntlet loot from today. 40 kills, I died a couple times, so probably 37 or 38 uh, gauntlets done. Regular crystal weapon seed. Uh, my old friend the Apatol agility course has been a while. My first time coming back here for an elite clue step. Oh, another regular crystal weapon seed. Wow, another crystal weapon seed. Another one. That, that's the wrong weapon seed. <laughs> oh, oh, we got an armor seed. <laughs> Hey, number seven, so that one can go to spook eventually. I'm about to get six hour logged in like 10 minutes, which may or may not even be enough time to get another run in. So I'm gonna log off and do the six hour thing on Temple OSRS because I don't have much else to show this video and it's a gauntlet video. So let's do some gauntlet record stuff. I just wanna see how many I did in six hours. Oh, that's a clean number. I did 30 in six hours. And this will be the last chest of the night. Uh, so I did a little bit of AFK fishing, not too much though, got about 100k XP. I figured out the differences between the loot logger and the bossing info plugin when it comes to like tracking the loot from your current session. So because when you don't actually kill Hunliff, like you get the loot but you don't get the KC, this doesn't count the KC in the bossing info plugin but the loot logger plugin does count it as a KC for your current session even though you got loot, but you didn't get the KC. So I just wanted to clarify that I figured that out. Anyways, so I did 56 or actually 54 completed kills or whatever uh, today. And here is the loot. And we are very close to wrapping up that 400 KC. We're at 379. So tomorrow will be the big day. And I don't know what to do after that. I'll figure something out. Crystal weapon seed. Hey, 95 range. Dude, I got this whole entire last level all from doing gauntlet. 400 KC at gauntlet. This is the drop rate, of course, for the enhanced crystal weapon seed. Will we get it? Probably not, no. But yeah, I am done grinding out gauntlet, at least for the foreseeable future. Ooh, crystal and flame. I'll probably go back to how I was doing it before, just maybe a few before bed here and there or something, but I got my fill in of Gauntlet. I'm satisfied now, and we got some pretty decent loot to show for it. So I'm just going to quickly alk this stuff in my inventory and then I'll show you what we got. Since we started this video, all the GP I've made from Gauntlet, all the stuff I've alked and everything, I've been turning all of it into platinum tokens because I want to keep track of the amount of GP that we would make from the last 200 CG. So we'll take out the platinum tokens, and it looks like it's going to be over 20, 20. 0.3 mil GP from 200 gauntlet. That math works out really well. So an average of 100K per gauntlet. That's just in terms of raw GP value, not to mention all the scaling supplies. Let's convert this back into GP though. We'll take out the rest of the cash stack and that puts us at a nice 82 mil GP stack. I forgot, I want to check the notice board so we can see how many deaths I got in the 400 KC and it looks like it was 24. And now for the fun part, the juicy loot from 400 gauntlet plus a few deaths here and there but this is about 400 corrupt gauntlet loot seven crystal armor seeds so i'll have the full set whenever i get enhanced uh dragon arrows and plenty of other arrows too for my twisted bow lots of runes uh this is the equivalent of like two-thirds of an onyx a bunch of gems will be really nice for rings of recoil for the suffering yeah you just look in the skilling tab here i haven't really shown my skilling tab here's what the stacks of my skilling supplies are currently looking like by the way Anything down here? Nah, nothing really interesting. And here's the collection log for Gauntlet. Looking looking pretty all right. And oh yeah, of course, the, the nicest thing we got out of this was the pet who's just been sitting in here. I don't like to leave pets out until the videos actually go up because it's like spoilers for either people that see me in game or if I'm streaming and the videos haven't gone up yet, then they don't know that I got the pet yet. And of course, we have some caskets to open that I've collected throughout this video. We got a couple of random ones and then 11 elite clues. So there's the beginner. 
easy. And here's the elite. Oh, nice. Adamant Dragon Mask. Right away, we get a unique, which it's not the most common thing to get uniques from elite clues. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, is that two? Or those both? Yeah, those are both new. Nice. Giant Boot and Deerstalker. And all these helms here. Okay, seven more. Whoa, Ranger Gloves, nice. This is a sick opening so far, even just with this stuff, it's freaking awesome. Okay, five, oh, Master. Isn't that the hat that the Bloodhound wears? The Deerstalker hat? It's so cool. Bloodhound's my favorite pet in the game. But yeah, look, it is the same hat, except it's green that the Bloodhound wears, and that one's blue. I feel like my guy just looks super cool right now. I mean, not literally cool because we're in the Zara area, but looks sick, but not sick in a bad way, like, Never mind. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got a master clue done. Okay, we'll save that for last. We got four more elites to open. Oh my gosh, holy raps, nice, dude. It's like the AFK prayer gloves. Probably not ever gonna be worth it over using Barrow's gloves. Um, but yeah, you can see it just gives the prayer bonus. Okay, three more, two, one. And master clue, bloodhound, please, no. Nice, dude. That was such a sick opening, though. Actually, I take that back about the holy wraps. They'll definitely be useful for something, like some kind of skilling grind where you're not actually doing combat stuff, but you need just as much prayer bonus as possible. Like, for example, doing the arty rooftops, uh, if you were, like, boosting and using preserve, then you would want as much prayer bonus as possible, but yeah, stuff like that. Also, why do the holy wraps have, like, fingers in them? You know, like normally gloves don't, or wait, why are there mittens too? We don't have like thumbs or fingers or just circles for what the hell? Wait, hold on. Dude. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna go put a bunch of stuff in my POH now and free up some bank space. I know I really should just buy some more bank space, but I really want to see how high I can get the cash stack because I just, I don't know, I just, I like seeing number go up. That's why we all play RuneScape, right? Something else I noticed is look at the bank value, 990 mil. I think it's pretty safe to say that with all the like GP and items I have spread out, like money and miscellanea, or um, even just like the Dragon Warhammer, I trade over to Spook, um, all the stuff in my POH. With, with all that, I think it's pretty safe to say that I basically have a one build bank. And uh, how long of playing? 118 days of playtime with 2058 total level. I wasn't just doing Gauntlet this video, I was showing you like my AFK fishing grind I was doing. So here's the total fishing XP I gained throughout this video, about 800k fishing XP. And I wasn't tracking it in the XP tracker, but I probably did a couple hundred K agility XP as well, which I guess it's kind of part of the fishing too, but I was uh, bringing some arty rooftops. Getting pretty close to 93 agility too, which is what we're gonna do next video so we can try out the blood rune crafting thing I've been talking about for a while. Wait, I almost forgot to show this section. This is um just the bossing info plugin and here's the historical information. 87 hours spent in the gauntlet of the cases that I did complete. Yeah, cool. Just wanted to show this before I forgot. Spent a good 40 to 50 hours hours just this video doing gauntlet the group boss bash raffle which i've been talking about the last few videos did come to an end uh like four days ago as of the time i'm recording this we were originally gonna be doing like a bunch of god wars and other stuff and i wanted to go to sarah but then i was like oh both would be so nice for that and then i started doing like raids because i wanted decks and i just got so distracted with gauntlet that we didn't end up going to sarah or um i, I just wasn't doing anything for tickets like the last week of the raffle which i guess that was like half of it and unfortunately gauntlet did not give any tickets for the raffle i just i just really wanted to do it i was just in the mood and when i'm in the mood to do something I typically go and do it, but here is the tickets that we ended up with, which probably isn't even that much. To be fair, I think we were doomed from the start anyways, considering that we were up against five-man teams. I don't think we really ever stood a chance, but it is still a raffle, so there is always a chance that we could be pulled. As I said, the plan for next video, we'll start off by getting 93 agility for that shortcut, and uh, try out the true blood altar, which I've been wanting to do for a while and looking forward to it, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. With that said, make sure you check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel, which you can find a link to in every video description description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.